how hard is it or, or how long does it take to switch between different designs? Is this one of those things that you can spin up very quickly or is it like a major kind of infrastructure change to switch patterns or companies? That's one of the benefits of the technology is that we really don't have to do a lot of work to make a change. So today in the, in the R&D environment, let's say you could take a printer, I could print a cold plate on it today and tomorrow I could print an antenna and the machine doesn't have to change at all. So it's, it really is a toolless setup in that regards. And a lot of AM operates that way where they take a, a low volume, high mix approach where they're going to print one thing one day and one thing the next day and use that as a benefit to balance their workload. But the way that we're tackling it is a little bit different. We are really targeting these high volume applications where units are going to be 10,000 or 20,000 units of a single SKU per week. And so what we are planning for is a block of printers, 10, 20, 50 printers will all be printing the same thing every day for a year and then maybe change the design a little bit when the next chipset comes out. It's a little bit different than a lot of other AM out there. We're, we're not looking necessarily for this high mix between printers. We're looking for these really high volume opportunities. Quite honestly, when we made the investment, we weren't really thinking about was the sustainability aspect. Ecamm process compared to what companies are doing right now is really innovative and unique in its ability to actually be more sustainable. Maybe just talk for a minute about how you're thinking about that. How sustainable is it? What kind of feedback are you getting on that front? That's been one of the other nice benefits of the technology and has been pretty important for a number of our customers who have certain environmental targets or ESG targets. And yeah, to dive into it. So the amount of energy that it takes to go from, you can measure it, raw materials all the way to your final part. You can track that and there's groups that will do analysis on that, which is one of the studies that we commissioned to take a look at our technology and compare it to some of the other manufacturing technologies out there, both 3D printing as well as traditional technologies like casting, for example. 